Right, so we have the wheel off now, and it's time to figure out how to put this thing on. Um, so I have had a little bit of a play with it, and, and I believe these bits need to come out. So there's two bolts either side. Take those off. And each side comes with its own washer. So I had a little play with this earlier and I believe we have to pull this out like so. And from my guesses, it will sit on there. This is what happens when you buy something without any instructions. Okay, so that looks like it sits on there just like that. And those would sit in there like so. Tell you what, I'm gonna get some duct tape and hold that down so we can see what's going on. So the question is, have they left the have they given us extra bolts in the packet to be able to do this? So we've got some bolts there, uh, some mini screws there, some bolts there, cable ties, miniature screwdriver, Seems to be two plates, which I have no idea what they do. But we'll have a look at the picture and see. And the rest are just tools and the things that sit on the side there. So these two plates here, from what I understand from the pictures, or what it could be, is that it would sit in like so. Potentially have to take these out. See in just a moment. It would be great if they gave instructions. Okay, so it looks like those bolts definitely go in there. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these because I believe we need to swap them out. With the little plates. And these are the tiniest little screws. Go ahead and do the other side. 
Right, so that tab is now in. As you can see it fits up there nicely. So I'm putting the smooth one on the inside through the hole and then the screw on the outside. So that should fit on there. As you can see on here, it doesn't have the light. So the light gets threaded through here and then actually sits up there, which I don't particularly like, but it will do for now. So it's nice that you've got a little bit of adjustment in your suspension there as well. Like that's, I think that's kind of cool. So depending on where your wheel sits, Go ahead and tighten these up. So that's pretty good. So five millimeter bolts on those. There's one to hold. installed with Loctite, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so in this part we need to figure out how we're going to get the light attached to the suspension. So from what I can see is you pop it down there. that there's, there's nowhere for the wire to go along to, so maybe, hmm. I'll plug it in for now. At least it's nice that they give you the tools with it so that you don't have to buy any. It's always handy to have uh, your own tools anyway, but this is just a lot nicer. And for 45 quid, it doesn't look too bad. Could do with it a bit of refining, figuring out where the wires actually go. Get the wheel back on. Put that in just like that. Right. Right. Let's see what they've done here. Yep. 
they haven't put the uh, the lawyer tabs in. because you have to stretch it out a bit that's how they get around it perfect so that's now in let's get these bolts on as quickly as we can let's make sure it's straight Make sure that that's all tightened up before we put everything fully back together. And now it's time to thread the cables back through the original slots. Once again, be careful because you don't want to be breaking anything here. Having so many pieces left over. find a nice little home for them which I think this bag down here will be perfect. I've just found those screws that are actually for the um, for the light there so we're gonna go ahead and install those ones. Okay before we put anything else together what we're gonna do is wire everything up make sure it's all working and then we're gonna Make sure all the bolts are tight and then we can go ahead and give it a little test. So this wire is going to be further away and it's going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a struggle to get it to where you need it, but you can make it work. All I'm going to do for a little bit more added protection is add some electrical wire around the cables. We need that grommet out. So we're going to go ahead and take the uh, controller back out, add that back in, remember if you can't remember where it got, went, make sure that you take a look at the photos that you took earlier. Brilliant. So now we need to go ahead and wire the motor back up so it's a simple case of reverse. Make sure that there's a little notch there, goes into the little notch there. So brown to brown, blue to blue, and yellow to yellow. Now we have done that, we're going to go ahead and reconnect. Power cable. Got power. Um, okay, the 
brake doesn't seem to be working. There we go, that's why we always make sure that we check the connections and make sure they're in the right way. Right, time for me to tidy up all the wires, put everything back together, and we'll see you at the end. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing and check out my last video on how you can win your 9 Max front suspension. We'll see you in the next one.